Hey everyone, this is Julia from Crocoblog. In this video tutorial, we will create dynamic sale notifications for WooCommerce using the advanced SQL query with OpenAI. If you are new to our channel, please make sure you are subscribed and don't forget to hit the notification bell. So, let's get started! Generating the advanced SQL query with OpenAI is available with Jet Engine 3.2 version. And if you missed our previous video, I highly suggest you check it out. Also, please check if you have the following plugins installed and activated. In this tutorial, we will build an analog of dynamic sale notifications for WooCommerce. Basically, it won't be real-time notifications, but just short notice of the most recent website sale, the product itself and the date or time. First of all, ensure that you have several completed orders on the website. Now let's create the SQL query. For that, go to your website dashboard, Jet Engine, Query Builder. Click the Add New button. Give it a name, for example, Dynamic Sale Notification, and select the SQL slash AI query query type. Scroll down a bit and enable Advanced slash AI mode. And you can see that the settings now are a bit different. To use AI, press the magic stick icon right here and the pop-up for the SQL query generation will appear. And here comes the most crucial step. We need to write the correct prompt so the AI understands the request. Luckily, we already have a description that 100% works. Simply enter the prompt you see on the screen right now. It says WooCommerce, select all product IDs from latest order, Add to the response product ID and order date. Limit 1. And click Generate Query. After some time, a generated query will appear. So click the Use this query button. You can also turn on the preview result toggle. The counter shows 1. And here are also the order details I need. Product ID. Product name and the date of purchase. With this data, we can now build the listing. And don't forget to hit the Add Query button and let's move on to the next step. Go to Jet Engine, Listings, and create a new listing item. In the Setup Listing Item pop-up, choose the Query Builder source and pick the needed query. Enter the listing item name and choose the Elementor listing view. Finally, click the Create a listing item button. Of course, add a section and some heading that says Someone just purchased. All the data will be pulled dynamically, so let's add the dynamic field widget. I will duplicate the widget and also copy it to the first column where the thumbnail will be shown. Let's start with the product title. To display it, select the post term user object data source and then choose order item name object field from the list. Now proceed to the second widget here. To display the purchase date, Select the same source and post date object field. You can leave it as it is, or for a better visual effect, we will convert it into how much time has passed since purchase. Right here, enable the filter field output toggle. 
and pick the human readable time difference callback. Also, you can use the customize field output option and add, let's say, a go. The thumbnail is a little more complicated, but there is a product ID in the query result, right? With product ID, we can get its thumbnail using a certain filter. Pick the same source and then select the meta value object field. Again, enable filter field output toggle and in the callback, choose get post slash page thumbnail. And it's pretty much it. Pick the right image size and I also suggest adding a custom CSS class to this widget, however, it is fully optional. For that, go to the Advanced tab and enter this line in the CSS Classes field. The required styles can be added via Appearance, Customize, Additional CSS. I added these lines so the image looks perfect on the front end. Once you styled the listing, just hit Update. And now we are ready to output it onto the page with Jet Pop-up. Go back to the dashboard, Jet Pop-up, create a new one. And you can also pick, let's say, this preset. Delete the default widgets if there are any and add a listing grid widget. Select the listing you've previously created and set columns and post number to 1. Now you just need to style the pop-up itself and set conditions for it. For that, click on this gear-shaped icon and unfold settings. Pick the animation type and select open event. For example, to open the pop-up after some user's inactivity time. Also, we will need it to set the display conditions, but let's move on to the style tab for now. Right here, you will be able to adjust the size, background, close button, and so on. But what really worked best for me, I'm setting the same width for the container as the listing container width. And since I set the white color for the whole section of the listing item, I basically don't need any color for the pop-up. So under the container background, color, I will lower the opacity to make it transparent. The same thing I will repeat for the container overlay. Of course, make sure to adjust the close button position and style. And we're done. Let's click Update and get back to the Settings tab. We picked the animation and event but on what page should this pop-up be visible? That can be easily done by clicking the Edit button. There are no conditions for now, so let's add one. You can either include or exclude the pop-up and also set it to be shown on specific pages. I will choose the entire site. Save conditions and before we check the front-end, I'd like to show you that the pop-up will definitely include the last order data. Here are my orders. And the last book that was purchased is The Great Gatsby. I will proceed to the home page. And after a couple of seconds of inactivity, the pop-up shows up and it includes the needed thumbnail, book title, and how much time has passed since purchase. Everything works perfectly. And now you know how to use the OpenAI with the SQL query by the Jet Engine plugin 
and how to generate the query to display the data from the database table. This will be it for this tutorial. Give us a thumbs up if this video was useful for you. Share your thoughts in the comments down below. Don't forget to check the description box and of course, make sure you are subscribed. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.